Good evening students. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the chemistry question paper model for practical examinations. As uh, practical examinations are uh, fast approaching, we will be discussing uh, the chemistry question paper model today. And as you know, the chemistry question paper model for practical exams, chemistry uh, question paper for the practicals is of uh, 30 marks and the time that is given to you is uh, 3 hours. And we have so many parts in this uh, practical examination question paper. We actually have the part number 1 that is a uh, qualitative analysis. In simple terminology we also call it as salt analysis which is of 10 marks and we have the second question is the volumetric analysis and which is of 8 marks the third question there are so many parts in this A is organic compound functional group identification and B also we have is carbohydrates and proteins C in this is colloidal solution preparation C is colloidal solution preparation for this question number 3 we have a 6 marks so these many questions will be there in the practical examination question paper. Number one we have is the qualitative analysis or we also call that a salt analysis which is for 10 marks and the second question is for volumetric analysis that is 8 marks question and the third question organic compound functional group identity any one of this will be given organic compound functional group identification or carbohydrates and proteins and colloidal solution preparation any one of the three is given for that we have is 6 marks. And apart from this, we have two marks for Viva, two marks for practical record book, and two marks for project report. So this total put together, the questions that you need to solve there itself is 18 plus 6, that is 24 marks, and this 6 marks, total put together is a 30 marks paper and you need to go for uh, 3 hours of that question paper. Now, what is actually this qualitative analysis or salt analysis? Let us try to understand. See, in question number 1, that is a salt analysis. They will be providing you a salt, unknown salt. Simple salt that they are going to provide you. The salt contains one cation plus one anion you need to identify the cation and you need to identify the anion and finally you have to report the salt so what is the actual procedure for salt analysis or question number one they will be providing you an unknown salt that salt contains cation and anion you have to perform the different tests on the salt okay and finally you have to report the cation present in the salt and anion present in the salt for this you have to go for three phases phase number one that is physical tests first part now you have to perform on the given salt is physical test like what is the color of the salt you have to write and what is the solubility whether the salt is soluble in water or not then flame test you have to perform on the salt so first you have to perform physical test on the given salt that is color solubility flame test etc and then second part in the salt analysis is anion identification the second uh, is what am I? anion identification on the given salt first you have to perform physical test and then you have to perform anion identification test and you have to identify the given anion and then finally you have to go for cation identification 
and finally after identification of the cation you have to submit the report what cation is present and what anion is present in the given salt so for the first question that is unknown salt will be provided and that contains a cation and an anion okay you have to find out the cation and you have to find out the anion in the given salt and finally you have to report that for this the procedure is of three stages stage number 1 physical test you have to perform on the given salt that is color solubility flame test and then you have to go for anion identification test then finally cation identification test you have to perform you have to identify the anion and you have to identify the cation finally you have to report to the salt for this question you will be getting 10 marks but these 10 marks are divided in a step wise procedure for physical test they will be giving you 2 marks for cation identify anion identification they will be giving you 2 marks for anion uh, cation identification they will be giving you some 4 marks so total 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 and two marks they will be giving you for the correct report so those 10 marks will be divided into different parts for writing the physical test you will be getting two marks for writing the anion identification test you will be getting two marks for cation identification you will be getting four marks and for writing the right correct report you will be getting two marks so total put together it is 10 marks then what is the second question we have is that is volumetric analysis So as I told you, this question is of eight marks. In this, there are two kinds of titrations. One is acid-base titrations. Second one you have is permanganometric titrations. So two kinds of titrations that they will give you: acid-base titrations and permanganometric titrations. Now, what is this acid-base titration? They will be providing acids like HCl, H2SO4. And they will be providing bases like sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate, etc. Now, suppose they have uh, they have given you question the reaction between HCl and NaOH. They will provide you one solution standard. Yani concentration of that solution will be given to you. Molarity of that solution is given to you. You have to identify the molarity of the unknown solution. Suppose they have given you the molarity or concentration of base. You have to identify the concentration of acid. If acid concentration is provided, you have to identify the concentration of base, vice versa. Yani if they are giving you acid as a standard, then base is unknown. You have to perform the titration reaction. You have to take the acid in burette. In burette, you have to take acid, right? And in conical flask, you have to take base, and you have to add indicator to this. So you have to titrate the acid again as the base. Color change is observed at the end point. based on the reading you have to identify the concentration of base if base is standard you have to identify the concentration of acid so that is what the main uh, target of this volumetric analysis yani using the standard solution the concentration of unknown solution is estimated using apparatus like burette burette always filled with acid and conical flask always filled with base and an indicator is added titration is done at the end point you have to note down the reading using m1 v1 by n1 is equal to m2 v2 by n2 formula you have to find out if this is the concentration of the acid then that is the concentration m2 is the concentration of base m1 is the concentration of the acid which is given and m2 is the concentration of base that you need to identify finally that is what the what he calls our main uh, uh, target our main report of the main aim of the volumetric analysis you will be getting 8 marks for this then the third question you have is organic compound functional group identification organic compound functional group identification for this you have six marks they will be providing you an organic compound it may be an aldehyde or it may be a ketone like different kinds of uh, what is that ma organic compound they provide either aldehyde will be there ketone will be there maybe carboxylic acid will be there different kinds of organic compound that they provide you have to perform different kinds of tests on the aldehydes are given organic compound and you have to identify whether the given functional group is aldehyde or whether the given functional group is ketone or whether the given functional group is carboxylic acid like that you need to identify the functional group of the given organic compound based on the tests that you perform you can identify 
whether the functional group is aldehyde or ketone or what is that carboxylic acid in the given organic compound and you have to report finally uh, you will get six marks for that and the last we have is two marks i told you for record and two marks is for viva and two marks is for project report these two which you have already submitted but why va they will ask you theory questions here from your theory part of first year and second year syllabus not not necessarily only practical part they may ask you first year and second year theory related questions here that is two marks give, will be given for viva total put together 30 marks and for this you need uh, to spend 3 hours in the laboratory right and all the very best that is what the question paper model you need to solve the question paper in that way right sir for that you will be getting uh, 30 marks all the very best ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals